friends i am going to discuss in my chemistry lab tutorial about estimation of penicillin drug this is the aim of estimation of penicillin drug determine the potency of given sample of penicillin these are the requirement of practical 0.01 normal sodium thiosulfate solution 0.01 normal iodine solution one normal nh solution and one normal hcl solution this is the method to prepare stock solution during the practical first one na2s2o3 5mol h2o we want to prepare 0.01 normal solution so during chemical reaction s2o3 raised to minus 2 which is convert into s4o6 raised to minus 2 here oxidation number of sulfur is plus 2 here oxidation number of sulfur is 2.5 so multiply by 2 so 4 here multiply by 2 to 5 so during chemical reaction change in oxidation number or change in electron is only one Molecular weight of sodium thiosulfate 248 gram per mole with the use of atomic weight. Now equivalent weight is equal molecular weight upon change in oxidation number or change in electron. Therefore equivalent weight is equal to 48 upon 1 so 248 gram per equivalent. So how can you prepare? 1000 ml one normal solution so required weight of sodium thiosulfate 248 gram. For 1000 ml 0 0.01 normal solution required weight of sodium thiosulfate 2.48 gram and suppose you want to prepare 250 ml sodium thiosulfate solution so required weight of sodium thiosulfate is 0 0.620 gram. That means weight exactly 0 0.620 gram sodium thiosulfate dissolved in a distilled water and with the use of distilled water make total volume of solution 250 ml. Same way we can prepare 0 0.01 normal iodine solution and same way we can prepare one normal NH solution and one normal HCl solution. Molecular weight of sodium, th sodium hydroxide is 40 gram per mole and equivalent weight of sodium hydroxide is equal molecular weight upon it is base so acidity so 40 upon 1 and therefore 40 gram per equivalent. So 1000 ml one normal solution required 40 gram and 250 ml one normal solution required 10 gram that means weight exactly 10 gram of sodium hydroxide dissolved in a distilled water and make total volume of solution with the use of distilled water 250 ml here hcl is liquid so by volume it is one type of dilution for dilution use n1 v1 equal n2 v2 equation suppose in our laboratory concentration of hcl solution is 12 normal from 12 normal we want to prepare one normal solution suppose 250 ml solution we want to prepare so required volume of hcl v1 is equal 20.83 ml that means measure 20.83 ml exactly 12 normal hcl solution Add in it distilled water and with the use of distilled water make total volume of HCl solution to 250 ml. So this is the preparation of stock solution of different kind of solution. Now I am going to discuss about the viva was question regarding the penicillin drug. You know penicillin it is the one type of antibiotic drug. Penicillin it is the one type of antibacterial drug. So what's the actual definition of antibacterial drug or antibiotic drug? Very simple friend. Those drug which are used to which we, uh, those drug which are useful to stop growth of bacteria. Those drug which are useful to kill bacteria such type of drugs which are known as antibiotic drug or antibacterial drug. This is the formula of structural formula of penicillin during titration it is neutralized in the presence of sodium hydroxide then we will get sodium salt of penicillin. Now benzatin penicillin according to Indian pharmacopoeia its potency is 12 lakhs per unit. So what's the actual meaning of potency? Very simple potency that means capacity of a drug to kill bacteria. Potency that means capacity of drug to stop growth of bacteria within time period. So it is known as a potency. Penicillin can take orally. Why? Because in a stomach it hydrolyzes by stomach acid. It is active against gram positive bacteria. Penicillin is a one type of antibacterial agent. 
Penicillin was found first time by Alexander Fleming from fungi. Pure penicillin founded by Fleming, Flore and Ernest Chain. An industrial manufacture of penicillin done from penicillin, penicillium chrysogenum enzyme with the use of fermentation reaction. Dose of penicillin. Penicillin can take orally. Penicillin can take by intravenous injection or intramuscular injection. Penicillin always given after 8 hours interval. That means during 8 hours capacity of penicillin to kill a bacteria within 8 hours it is known as a potential penicillin. These are the different kind of brand name or generic name of the penicillin. What's the actual use of penicillin drug? Penicillin is useful to treat certain infection caused by bacteria. This type of infection like a pneumonia insect infection, other respiratory tract infection. So it is useful to treat different kind of infection which caused by bacteria in our body. So these are the viva was regarding the penicillin. After that, I am going to discuss about the actual procedure of this practical first sample reading. First, I am going to discuss about the sample reading. Weight exactly W milligram of penicillin with the use of electronic balance, dissolve in a distilled water and make total volume of solution 100 ml with the use of measuring flask. Shake well and take this diluted solution in net and clean dry beaker. From this beaker, take 5 ml solution with the use of pipette in an idometric flask. Add in it 5 ml 1 normal NH solution with the use of pipette. Keep this solution for 30 minutes for complete hydrolysis. After 30 minutes, add in it first 6 ml 1 normal HCl solution with the use of burette. Then after 25 ml 0 0.01 normal iodine solution with the use of burette. Cork this bottle tightly and keep again for 30 minutes. After 30 minutes, add in it starch is indicated and titrate excess of iodine solution with the use of 0 0.01 normal sodium thiosulfate solution and this end point is called V1ML. During this 30 minutes, perform blend titration. In a blend titration, take 5 ml penicillin solution with the use of pipette, add in it 25 ml 0 0.01 normal iodine solution with the use of pipette, add in it starch indicator and titrate against 0 0.01 normal sodium thiosulfate solution. Repeat this practical at least 2 to 3 times, so constant reading is called V2 ml. So this is the V1 ml and blank titration it is known as a V2 ml and this titration is called iodimetric titration because in, in this titration iodine directly titrate against G sodium thiosulfate solution. So when iodine directly titrate against sodium thiosulfate solution such type of titration is known as a iodimetric titration direct titration of iodine iodimetric titration and indirect titration of iodine it is known as a iodometric titration. Now calculation of potential penicillin drug with the use of proper method. How can you calculate potential penicillin? 1 mg of pure penicillin having 1667 into V2 minus V1 upon 2.52 factor into W mg. So that is the penicillin uh, potential penicillin in 1 mg. So this factor is suppose X mg pure penicillin in how much quantity of solution 5 ml because here we take already 5 ml solution. So 5 ml solution having X mg potential here we prepared already total volume of solution 100 ml. So 100 ml solution contain how much quantity of penicillin. So 100 into X upon 5 that means Y milligram penicillin. So that is the potential penicillin. The potential penicillin in 1 milligram is equal Y. 1 milligram is equal Y. So the potential penicillin in W milligram. W milligram is equal how much quantity so W into Y this factor is known so for Z so the potential penicillin in W milligram is Z so the potential penicillin in 600 milligram is for example 600 you can take uh, 500 milligram you can take right 
900 milligram you take you can take this weight is given on the vial of penicillin injection right so 600 into z upon w is equal blank unit of penicillin so that is the potential penicillin in 600 milligram so that is the calculation of potential penicillin with the use of this proper method okay further repeat the potential penicillin in w milligram is equal z and the potential penicillin in 600 milligram is equal 600 z upon w this weight is given on the vial of penicillin drug is equal blank unit so that is the calculation of potential penicillin drug with the use of this proper method thank you very much